Hey guys, I hope you're having a great holiday season. As you can see, I am back in Southwest Florida. We are doing a project on the RV today. First, I wanna explain why I'm back in Southwest Florida when the last time you saw me, I was at Manatee Springs State Park and just leaving there. I had made the decision to come back to Southwest Florida and get my bike tire, which I had just explained in a previous video ran off and forgot my bike tire <laughs> loaded the bike <laughs> but anyway i uh, came back to south of florida to get my bike tire realized that there was another hurricane coming to southwest florida hurricane nicole it was just going to dump a bunch of water on so all of florida pretty much and on some high winds and i thought why get out there and just deal with the bad weather so i decided i would get back on the road in a few weeks uh, so we had a wonderful thanksgiving and now we've got this project we're going to tackle so let me show you what we're doing so we're going to be changing these slide topper awnings actually we just did this one last weekend and so now we're going to do this bigger one this weekend and that one was a bit of a chore, but it was because we didn't, we were still learning, kind of figuring out how to go about it. Um, so this one should go a little quicker, hopefully. Um, I have kind of bad hands, so that was kind of the biggest issue, was me trying to hang on to it. There's a lot of tension on there, and me trying to hang on to it. Um, as a matter of fact, I forgot my gloves. I'm gonna go get some gloves that have rubber on them, and that helps me grip it. Uh, but other than that the concept is really simple and I'll let Kevin explain that to you while I go get my gloves <laughs> so as Cindy said we're gonna replace the slide topper awning um, over the living area the couch area and as you can see this awning right here is at the end of its life it's actually starting to rip and it's in really bad shape and I've already taken the um, anti-billowing device off that goes on the, the end over here which gives you access so you can put a pin in once you once you roll this awning out you can put a pin in to keep it from rolling back um, normally you would have two ladders one on each side and you would just use your hands and roll that awning back but we don't have two ladders so we kind of came up with a different way of doing it and um, it actually worked pretty well when we did the other one and we're just going to grab the awning and we just pull it pull use the awning to pull this back and then I kind of lay on my belly and stick the pin in and like I said it's it's a little different than what you normally see when they do it but it worked really well for us and we're going to try it again on this one so we're going to get started on that and see how it goes so we're going to strap me in because on the last one that we did the tension on this was so strong that I was actually sliding off onto like it was gonna pull me off of here um, I don't know I couldn't get a good grip on here for some reason and, and it just wanted to slide me forward so we're using this and I'm gonna wrap it around me over there I was able to hook to the ladder this time we're just wrapping it around the AC unit <laughs> and uh, it seems silly but Hey, I'd rather not fall off of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? You got it? All right, I got it. You ready? Slowly? Huh? Yeah, let up slowly. You good? All right. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. And you can see we got the pin going through there. That keeps it from unraveling. Here's the old awning. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in two. It just makes it a lot easier to slide it out when it's two pieces instead of one. The other thing we need to do is there's, I'm in shadow here, but the other thing we need to do is there's two screws here, one here and one on the other side we need to take out and that'll allow this to slide out. So that's what we're gonna do next.
All right, so we got that cut in two. Now we just gotta work this back and forth until it gets loose, and then we'll slide it out and it goes towards the front. <laughs> One down. So on the part that goes to the roller, you can see they put a piece of tape here. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna cut this. Doesn't look like it's doing much anymore, but I'll go ahead and cut it. There's two of these. There's one over here as well. And I'll cut both of those. The other thing that's nice is once you get it off, you can actually get on top of the slide. It's, you know, can support the weight, no problem at all. And it's easier to, to work with it. So those actually slid out really easy, a lot easier than I expected. Now we got those out, I can prep this. I'm gonna um, clean the top of this off. And also I have access to these rubber seals now. So I'm gonna spray those with a, um, with a rubber seal spray to help um, rejuvenate them a little bit and keep them pliable. And then we'll be ready to slide the new awning on. All right, so now I'm just putting some rubber seal conditioner on all the rubber seals. Um, it's a good time to do it. Now would be a good time to replace them, but we don't have the seals to replace them with, so I'm gonna put some conditioner on them and try to get a little more life out of them. And they're actually in pretty good shape, you know, so they, I'm not sure if they've been replaced already or what, but they, they look pretty good actually. All right, so I've sprayed all the seals with the rubber seal conditioner. And next I'm gonna actually spray a little bit of lubricant and these slide rails on each side. That'll uh, help the awning slide a little bit easier. And then we'll slide the awning in. So this is how the awning comes. All the wrinkles will come out. Once we have it on here, we'll slide it in and out a few times and it just tightens it right up but there's a thick end here and a thin end see the difference in the width of these rubber tubes that run through here the thin end goes to the outside where the roller is and the thick end goes in the track on the RV you want to make sure these seams here are facing down and the trick is going to be getting it on there even. It needs to be centered on there good. And slowly releasing the tension so it rolls up even. <laughs> it should be all right. <laughs> all right, roller. RV. Roller. All right, so that went on pretty even and it was fairly easy. So now what we need to do is take this tape, tape it to the roller just to kind of keep it from sliding back and forth. And this is like a fabric book binding tape. Uh, you could probably just use masking tape. Uh, once it's rolled up, it's not really even necessary. So it'll, we're gonna put that on and then we should be able to pull it in. straight as possible. Let me know when you're ready. You ready? Here we go. Ready? You good? You need to regrip? Scrap me, I broke. I don't know. I've got it if you need to regrip. 
We're almost there. Got a little bit of a wrinkle in there. It'll come out. All right, <laughs> we got it. Got a little tense there for a moment. I thought my hands were gonna give out, but it went in, it's nice and even, looks brand new. <laughs> uh, yep. So next I just need to put the anti-billowing device back on, uh, run the slide in and out a couple times, put the screws back in, um, in the rail that's next to the RV, and uh, we'll be done with this project. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And I will see you next time. Bye.